Hi everyone and welcome back to another app tutor video. In this quick and simple video, I'm going to show you how to add a video to your Shopify store without any music or controls. The video will have the autoplay feature without the customer having to play it manually. The customer won't even know if it is a video or not because the video will start playing automatically and the customer won't have any control like playing the video or adjusting the volume. The video won't have any sound and it will autoplay, and we will not be using YouTube for hosting our video. The video will be hosted on your Shopify store itself. Adding a video to your Shopify store can really help you in making your store look more attractive and professional. As you can see, this is how the video on my Shopify store looks like. I've downloaded this video from pexels.com, but you can use any video you want for adding it to your store. You can see that it doesn't have any controls, it doesn't have any sound, and you cannot pause the video. And we can also customize it to be smaller or bigger. So if you want it over your whole screen, you can easily adjust it, or you can make it really small so it's not distracting. So the first step is to go to your Shopify dashboard and we have to upload our video to Shopify since we won't be using YouTube to host the video. To do that, we have to click on this content button on the left side of the screen and then tap on files. As you can see, I have only one photo uploaded for my store, and let's upload our video. Click on this Upload Files button at the top right and then our file explorer will pop up. Just find the video that you want to use for your Shopify store and upload it. Then we will have to wait a couple of seconds or a couple of minutes until our video uploads to Shopify. The longer your video is the longer you will have to wait for it to upload. Now when our video is uploaded you can see it in the files list. The next step is to add the widget to the home page and then we will add the video on it. We will be adding a little bit of code to our store, but don't worry. We will just copy and paste the code, you won't have to enter anything manually. Let's click on the online store at the left side of the screen and make sure that the themes are selected. Then let's tap on this customize button right here. In order to add our video to the home page, you simply need to click on this add section right here, and then a menu with a bunch of options will show up. You want to find this custom liquid option and click on it to add our widget. Now you will see this prompt on the right side of the screen and that's where we will add our custom code. Don't worry, you just need to open this website and I'll leave the link of the specific site in the description of this video. So just open the website called Pastebin from the description and you will get to this page. Just copy this code right here because we will need it to add our video. Let's go back to our Shopify editor and simply paste the code into our custom liquid box here. The next step is to add the video URL to the code in order to play and show our video. As you can see, this box is empty and it doesn't show us any videos. So let's get the URL of our video, and what you want to do is to go to the Shopify dashboard and go to the content section one more time. Then make sure that the files are selected. We will see the video on our list, so just click on this little icon at the right side in order to copy our video link. Now let's go back to our store customizer and paste the link of our video. Make sure that you select the URL between the quotation marks in here, delete that link and paste your video link. It starts right here, and it ends with .mp4. So delete that part of the code and paste in your video link. When you paste your link the video will show up in our widget, and we have to paste it one more time since we have two parts of the code. Repeat the step, and when you do paste the link two times the video will show and it will start playing automatically. Make sure to save the changes by clicking on this button right here. And as you can see, the video doesn't have any sound or anything like that, and it's looping. Now the next step is to resize the video, because my video here takes up a majority of the screen. If you want to make it smaller or bigger, we have to change a little bit of code on the right side of the screen. We have to change the width here, and if you want to make it smaller set the value under 100%. And if you want to make it bigger than this then you can set the value above 100% but I'll just make it smaller because I don't want this video over the whole screen and whole website. This is a personal preference so you can adjust the video to your liking and what you think is going to look better on your website. If I go and check out my store, we can see that we had successfully added the video to our Shopify store. And if I go ahead and right click, then inspect. It's gonna give show us a bunch of code on the right side and we can see that this video and website are fully functional on the mobile version of the website, not just the desktop version. 
So if this video helped you out and you were able to add a video to your Shopify store without any problems, then leave a comment on this video and consider subscribing to the channel. It would really help me out. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.